This is Ted with Commute by Bike, and this is the hallway of a hotel in Washington, D.C., and I have a Turn Verge Duo folding bike. I'd like to thank Turn for sponsoring my travel to Washington, D.C. to attend the 2012 National Bike Summit, and also for lending me the Verge Duo bike to use and review while in D.C. You might wonder whether I can give an impartial review of a bike that's been provided to me by a sponsor. Oh look, there's someone walking down the hall! This is Tom Bowden on his Raleigh Sprite. He doesn't know it, but he's going to demonstrate one of the things that you can't do on a bike with coaster brakes, like the Turn Verge Duo. That move there. Let me show it again. It's spinning the pedals backwards to a position for a good start. That's just one of the things I had to get used to not being able to do on the Turn Verge Duo. Another thing to get used to was the automatic two-speed shifting of the Verge Duo. Surprisingly, that was easy. The hub tended to shift just about when I would have shifted manually, maybe a bit sooner or later. It was more something to be impressed by than something to complain about. DC is a relatively flat city, so I never experienced a disagreement with the bike about what gear it should be in. So here I slow down to get around a UPS truck. The bike downshifts, and when I start to pick up speed again, it upshifts. Right there, it upshifted into the second gear. I came across this Dahan Vitesse, much more like my own folding bike, with seven speeds, greasy gears, handbrakes, and cables running everywhere, and probably better for a more hilly environment than DC. Seeing the two next to each other, though, the turn looks so much more simpler and elegant. Hey turn, did you like that? The chain is enclosed in a reticulating plastic casing that looks like a bendy straw or one of those black millipedes. It protects your legs and clothes from any dirt or grease on the chain. It also protects your fellow passengers on a crowded subway from exposure to the bike's dirt and grease. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm going to fold this bike. With apologies to Turn and you folding freaks out there who like fast folds. I've only folded this bike a few times before. So I already have the seat down and I'm going to... Uh, what do I do next? Oh, I uh, unlock the frame and then I fold it there keeping the two wheels parallel that's called an end fold it's a little different from what I'm used to then I uh, unlatch the handlebars pull those down get those magnets in again and then there's this little rubber thing that holds the handlebar stem so that it doesn't come out and uh, then I'm done ah but it's rush hour in Washington DC and metro regulations require that you put your folding bike in some kind of bag during peak hours. And the reason has to do with those greasy chains and greasy derailers that other folding bikes have. If all folding bikes had a nice clean drivetrain like the Turn Verge Duo, then this probably wouldn't be a regulation that folding bike owners would have to deal with. But this is just a nuisance and I'm going to speed this up because it's too painful to watch. But it's not a reflection on the bike. It's just a reality of a multimodal commute with a folding bike in Washington, D.C. And I'm sure that if I did this daily, I'd either learn to do it more quickly, or I'd figure out how to slip on the metro when the station managers weren't looking. Overall, I think the Turn Verge Duo would be a great bike for someone who appreciates the simplicity of coaster brakes and automatic shifting someone who needs to use a subway system for commuting, and probably someone who lives in a city that's not too hilly. This is Ted with Commute by Bike. Thanks for watching.